Welcome back everyone here on day four of the Cranbrook Tennis Classic. We are here with our first winner on the day, advancing to round two of the main draw from qualifying is Omar Jessica. Omar, congratulations Thank on the you. victory today. How did you think uh, today's match went? Um, well, I think it went pretty well, um, considering I've been playing pretty average at the start of this year. Um, so it was actually good to get on the board this week. And I had to come through quality, so that's an extra two matches in this heat. It's probably not ideal, but it's definitely more core time, which means, you know, you see the ball better, you move better, and it's an extra two matches, of, um, considering all these guys in the main draw start, you know, from scratch. Mm -hmm. And to that point, you know, you talk about playing a bunch of matches. I believe this was your 116th match since the start of last season. By the way, 81 and 35, not too shabby oh, as an overall that. record. Nice. But I'm curious, that's a ton of tennis. It doesn't matter who you are, that's a big yeah. number. How does the body feel after 18 straight months of that sort of grind? Um, good question, actually. <laughs> I actually don't even know what to feel anymore now. It's just going, <laughs> it's going through the motions now. But I'm actually I'm doing all the right things that I need to do for my body. And um, I think my body's come a long way from last mm -hmm. year. And I feel like I'm getting more uh, fitter and fitter every day. So, yeah, if I can just keep going, I'm pretty sure my body will be uh, good enough for the next few years. For that, sure. That's what I'm curious as the follow-up your fitness I'm sure is something that's for me I've always noted I'm not trying to pair our games <laughs> but you take a long break the footwork I'm sure that's the first thing to go to way yeah. 18 months later how do you feel about your level right now um, I think it's getting better I think it's improving every day but I'm sure like you know there's always things that you can improve on so mm -hmm. you know there's it's always good to challenge yourself and improve on things that you need to improve on but I think my level and fitness have come a long way like I said before and mm -hmm. I mean all these guys this week are unbelievably fit so like if you want to be one of the best you've got to like almost Train extra and insane for sure. Absolutely. Well, a month in Jakarta, obviously, yeah. before you come here to Bloomfield Hills. Talk to me about that transition and how yeah. you've enjoyed this first time Challenger event. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, I went to Jakarta, honestly, if to try and get some matches in. Sure. And I, I played a shit, excuse my language, but a shit ton of matches. <laughs> and it was actually more humid um, than here. So it was actually a good preparation for me to go there and then come here. But um, yeah, like I said, I got a lot of matches in, um, didn't quite get the to, to, I mean, I got one title out of the three, but um, yeah, it's definitely helps, you know, any titles under your belt is confidence going into this for sure. Yeah, um, and you've played a lot of Challenger events over the years, yeah. obviously this is a first time event. How, ha how have you viewed the courts, how have you viewed the yeah. facilities, the accommodations, yeah. how are they doing so far? Honestly, I think it's one of the best Challengers I've played, 100%. The, way, the effort they put into this week is unbelievable, and they keep improving, you know, it's like Thursday, what did it say, Wednesday? Yeah. <laughs> Wednesday, and they're still doing stuff to the tournament, you know, which is unbelievable, so Credit to all those guys helping out with Tom and trying to make it the best they can. Yeah, for sure. No, absolutely. Well, again, Omar, congratulations Thank on the victory. So Appreciate chatting with you. Thank and, you, uh, Alex. Good luck this week. I appreciate it. Thank you so much.